next question what's one advice you would offer someone who aspires to lead again um, it's simple in context harder in practice it is all about the relationships for any future leader, it's about the relationships you have and the conversations that you have. Now, being mindful to be humble, humble, but at the same time to lead with confidence. And it begins with every conversation. You are on show 24-7, people hear and see. So do you practice and do you um, model what you say? So for me, for any new leader or aspirational leader, be mindful of your relationships. So I think the best advice is to ensure that we hold ourselves accountable and by the higher order practices and uh, go back to the teachings of our beloved Prophet uh, Muhammad وسلم, to be a leader from within, to avoid that top bottom approach but a leader with, uh, from within setting the example right, being a good and excellent role model from within and by doing so you would hope that others will emulate, others will try to um, you know, come on board and ensure that you would be able to effectively fulfill the, the school's vision. I would probably start off by saying first aspire to do good things and you are a leader anyway when you do that. Um, over the years I've found that those that aspire or want to become a leader more than anything don't always get it right. I think the essence is really about aspiring to do good and to contributing to the greater good of humanity and I think you're a leader whether you have a title to match that a job in an organization or not is really I think beside the point it's first getting it right in terms of what your contribution to humanity is going to be one advice that I would give them is that leadership is not a title or a badge leadership is um, not a title, it's not a badge, and everyone can be a leader. So for that reason, we don't call our, uh, our executive team the senior leadership team, because anyone can be a leader. If you look at the best leaders of the world, they didn't have title, they didn't have badges. As long as we believe in something, and we are ready to go out and persevere in that cause. Inshallah, Allah SWT will give us followers. And that's what a leader is. A leader is a person who influences others and develops a following. So my anyone who aspires to be a leader, my advice to them would be don't necessarily aspire to be a leader. Just aspire to do something great and you will become a leader. But if you aspire to become a leader um, and you aspire to leadership, um, I'm not sure if that will be, uh, from my perspective, the right approach. And also from, from an Islamic perspective, many people came to the Prophet ﷺ requesting leadership and he explained to them that our way is not to aspire for leadership. One word of advice that I would give to someone who aspires to be a leader. First and foremost, I would recommend them to check their intention and their purpose. Um, and second, uh, if they feel as though that this is the pathway they want to take, they should be grounded in principle and they shouldn't compromise from their decisions. Andrew, thanks for coming and thanks for your insights. Ali, thanks for coming in and Our thanks pleasure. for your insights. Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks a lot. Me. Thank you. Well, Sheikh Abdullah, thanks for your time and thanks for your insights. My pleasure. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Fazil, uh, thanks for coming in and thanks for your insights. Thank you very much and thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Anur, uh, thanks for coming and thanks for your insights. Thank you for having me. Thank you.